Compare different types of network splitters today. Network splitters are a useful tool for expanding a wired network and connecting multiple devices to a single Ethernet port. Two popular models on the market today are the TP-Link TLSF 1005D5 port switch and the Netgear G's 3088 port gigabit Ethernet switch. The TP-Link TLSF 1005D5 port switch is a compact and easy-to-use network splitter that is designed to provide reliable and efficient network connectivity. The switch features 510-100 MB-S Ethernet ports, allowing users to connect up to 5 devices to a single Ethernet port. The switch also supports a range of advanced features, including flow control and auto negotiation, which help to ensure smooth and efficient data transfer. The Netgear G's 3088 port gigabit Ethernet switch, on the other hand, is a larger and more robust network splitter that is designed for more demanding network environments. The switch features 810-100-1000 MB-S Ethernet ports, allowing users to connect up to 8 devices to a single Ethernet port. The switch also supports advanced features such as COS, quality of service, and auto-sensing, which help to ensure fast and efficient data transfer. When comparing the two models, the Netgear G's 308 offers a greater number of ports and faster data transfer speeds, making it a great choice for larger networks or for users who require faster. Data Transfer Speeds However, the TP-Link TLSF 1005D is more compact and affordable, making it a great choice for smaller networks or for users on a budget. Additionally, the TP-Link TLSF 1005D is more energy efficient, consuming less power than the Netgear G's 308. Both models are easy to set up and use with plug-and-play functionality that requires no software installation or configuration. They also both offer a range of advanced features to improve network performance, such as auto-negotiation and flow control. However, the Netgear G's 308 offers more advanced features such as COS and auto-sensing, making it a great choice for users who require more advanced network functionality. Overall, the choice between these two network splitters will largely depend on personal preference and specific needs. If you have a larger network or require faster data transfer speeds, the Netgear G's 308 may be the better choice for you. However, if you have a smaller network or are on a budget, the TP-Link TLSF 1005D may be the better choice. Ultimately, both models offer reliable and efficient network connectivity, making them great choices for any network environment. Network splitters are devices that split a single network connection into multiple outputs, allowing multiple devices to share a single internet connection. While the basic function is the same, different types of splitters vary in capabilities, compatibility and performance. Here are the main comparisons between popular network splitter options available today. Ideas on Analog Splitter An analog splitter divides a plain old telephone service, POTS, connection into multiple analog ports. Ideas on's Analog Network Splitter provides up to 8 RJ11 outputs from a single RJ11 input. Each port delivers a full bandwidth of an individual analog line, so each connected device can operate independently. 
Analog splitters are best suited for basic phone and fax lines but not suitable for broadband internet connections. They are also limited to a maximum transfer speed of around 33 kilobits per second. Ideason's analog splitters cost around $20 and work reliably for their intended use case of sharing dial-up connection.